that a lot of people in the fitness community don't understand and kind of preach the wrong information about the supplement creatine. So I'm here to clear up that, that uh, nonsense and let's dive into it. So let's start off with what creatine is. Creatine is a natural supplement that is created in the body by the liver and pancreas. What it does, it stimulates ATP production in the body, helps with muscle recovery and muscle retention, meaning uh, helping you sustain muscle growth. So many of these things, there's many, many positives to this supplement. It is the most researched supplement in the fitness community today. There shouldn't be any mix-ups on what creatine does. Creatine is made in the body from eating lean meats like chicken, beef, fish, anything with protein basically. So you ingest it, it's stored in the skeletal muscles as an isomer known as phosphocreatine. This is the creatine able to aid in skeletal movements and contractions. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to clear up another misconception on monohydrate, the creatine supplement monohydrate, and the creatine supplement hydrochloride. They're both still creatine, but monohydrate you do have to take a little bit more because when you put it in your, in your glass, you get that grainy white particles at the bottom of your glass. That's the same thing that happens in your intestines. So you need to recruit more water in order to absorb that creatine in your intestines. So naturally, recruiting more water to the intestines, you're gonna get more bloated. Um, hydrochloride, on the other hand, you need less and it's easier to absorb. If you put in the water and you stir it up, it will completely dissolve in the glass and this is what happens in the intestines. Not a lot of water needs to be recruited, so naturally you don't get bloated. Um, when you take hydrochloride. So that's the main difference. However, monohydrate is a lot less uh, to buy in stores. So if you're on a budget, I would really consider getting monohydrate. Um, but if you're not and you wanna ball out a little bit, then you, you can get hydrochloride. Oh, and I wanted to talk about one of, one of the many misconceptions of creatine. And I've done plenty of research on this and I found an article that really, really discusses it. I will link it in my bio. So what happened was in 1998, there was two scientists that studied creatine and they had one or a couple patients that helped in their studies, so volunteers. So they were volunteers and what happened was these volunteers or this volunteer had a kidney disorder or a kidney disease. So when testing creatine, they linked creatine and kidney disorders together. They correlated the two because of the results they got. So a lot of people now believe that creatine is linked to kidney disorders and do not take creatine because it will shut down your kidneys. That is not the case. Uh, if you want to give it a read, it will be in my link. So go check that out if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about this supplement. So. That's it guys, thank you for listening. My Instagram and my Snapchat are right here. I keep them extremely active. Uh, if you guys wanna just learn a little bit more and see what I do on the daily, um, there you can go there and check that out. Always strive to be your better self. LPS out.